morning everyone, so it is Saturday. I am currently hiding in Kapi Junction Station because it's three degrees outside today and it's just so cold. I can't bring myself to stand out there and wait for my friend. But today's an exciting day, we've got a few things planned. First up, hold on. Okay, it's so busy here, it's like the most embarrassing place to film. Because um, as you can see, there's like a doorway here and a doorway here and I'm just in the middle of it. Um, so people keep coming and it's just so awkward guys. But anyway, um, okay, today's an exciting day because I'm about to have brunch with my friend in Clapham. Then later on, I'm going to the Chanel Christmas party, which is actually like a perfume experience. I went to this last year and I vlogged it. And then Michael, who does the perfumes on the fifth floor of Harrods, called me out, invited me again this year. And it's also Michael who invited me to the Chanel Gabrielle kind of launch party. Hoping you're going to be able to hear me because it's quite loud. So it's really nice of him and he's such a nice guy. Um, he said I can film some bits when I'm there later today. So I'm going to take you guys along with me for the day. Later tonight I'm going back to another area in London um, for dinner with a friend. But I probably won't vlog that. But I'll show you guys my breakfast. I'll show you around Harrods a bit. And I'll show you what we get up to at Chanel. It's going to be really exciting. And if you are in London and you're going to Harrods, I really recommend going to the fifth floor, uh, perfume floor, it's incredible and Michael from Chanel is there and he's just, he's out of this world, like he knows so much about Chanel perfume and perfume in general and you can really see his passion, like he could sell you anything, I'm certain of it and he's just a really nice person so yeah I'm really excited for this today and I think you guys will enjoy it too. I'm going to show you guys my outfit properly in a bit but from above this is how it is. I put my reissue under my coat. Also guys, this is my new coat. I treated myself to it for my birthday. And I got it second hand. I'll show you more of that later. Um, and then I've got my reissue here. central it's gonna warm up a bit because of all the cars but yeah I really should have put more layers on yeah anyway we've got a couple hours till the Chanel thingy later so I'm gonna have a little look around the shops on the Kings Road I'm in the market for some socks so I think I'm gonna go to and other stories and have a look there so we're in and other stories now how gorgeous is this but look I'm already wearing a red jumper that's quite similar to this looks so warm though I also love this green. How gorgeous is that? Really, really cute. It's actually like the perfect green jumper. Oh, how much is this? I always think it's best to wait until things go into sale. 59 pounds, yeah, quite expensive. If that goes in the sale in the new year, I could be tempted, that is really cute. I love this kind of like really thick knitted crew neck detail as well. So we're at the socks, but they don't have the ones I was looking for. I saw Estée Lalonde had a like sheer pair, kind of like this, but they were black with flowers embroidered in them. They were so pretty, but they don't have them here. I must say these cashmere ones though. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. They've got some really nice patterns. I also like these. How festered would they be for Christmas? So cute. These trousers aren't in the sale, but I think I'm going to try them on. I love the shape of them. The super like kind of white wide leg and then they narrow at the bottom. Like how cool would these be guys? High waisted, a little bit of a crop on the ankle hopefully. Okay I thought before I try the trousers on I'll show you my outfit of the day really quick. So I've got my acne scarf on which I just tie around my neck and then underneath, yeah underneath I've got my little round neck red jumper from Marks and Spencers my new Burberry coat which creases super easily guys this is a car coat it's the Camden looks kind of funny because I've got my bag underneath it I've got my reissue with me today then just straight leg trousers from Topshop and common projects but let me show you what the coat looks like without my bag okay that's so much better so this is the Camden coat from Burberry um, I actually bought it on Bestiaire Collective, second hand, half price, literally got 50% off it and it came with the tags in. So looking online is a really good idea if you want a good deal. 
I love it. It's got like that classic Burberry print on the inside. Super cozy. Love the neckline of it. And if you are thinking of getting this online, just for reference, I actually ended up getting a size 8 because it does come up quite big, like even on the arms. I've had to roll it up. I'm 5'3", quite curvy. I'm like a size 12 to 14. And yeah, I got an 8 in this. So yeah, hopefully that helps you guys, but I just love it so much. Okay, I think these trousers are in now. I think it's the pleating, it just looks too tight up around my weight, like my stomach area. So yeah, these are definitely gonna be a no. I kinda, I like the leg of them. I like, yeah, how they like kind of hang down the leg, but just this like top bit is just a bit too tight, which is a shame, but oh well. The hunt for like a wide pin, pinstripe wool trouser continues. I actually have a pair of kind of flare wide pinstriped suit trousers but I really liked how these were kind of woolly. I am madly in love with this overcoat. It's really good length as well um, but it's just not in my budget right now. I'm also concerned that it's just going to get really popular and we'll see it on everyone. So I'm going to wait until, I'm going to try and hold out for the sales for this one if not at least till next month just see if it does get a bit too popular because I don't want to wear something especially with a pattern like this it's quite a statement I don't want to wear it and then just see like 50 people out wearing it in London but that's the problem living in London like if you're going to see a popular item of clothing you'll see it everywhere but it is absolutely gorgeous I'm not even going to tempt myself by trying it on I'm going to be patient and see how we go with this one <laughs> gorgeous they always have such great jewelry in here how cute are these little hoops I think I'm going to treat myself to them. Okay, that was successful. I really like them. Look, I put them in already. How cute are they? Little, little like thingies. What are these called? Like little round discs hanging off. I think they look really cute. I liked the silver ones too. These ones are nice. They're the kind of earrings that you have to kind of latch at the back. I find them so frustrating to put in. It took me like 10 minutes standing in the mirror in the shop trying to get them in. Oh, but they're in now. I think they're so nice. I'm starting to get to a point where I feel a bit naked when I haven't got earrings in, which is so weird because I didn't wear earrings for like eight years and now I love them. Especially like hoops like this. Here's a close up. How cute are they? Love them. Um, another thing I'm starting to feel naked without is my camera. Oh, I know I've got this one, but this isn't my photography camera. For like my Instagram, I use a Fujifilm. I think it's called the... Um, X100F, absolutely incredible camera, and I miss it so much. I'm really sad I didn't bring it out with me today because I have like the bug to take pictures, and I don't have my camera. I feel like I'm, yeah, I feel like my hands are a bit naked without it, but oh well. I'll have to take it out with me when I go out tomorrow, and just remember to bring it out with me next time. But anyway, we have two hours until the Christmas Chanel party thing about the perfume, um, but I think I'm just going to head to Harrods now. It's like a short walk from the King's Road, so I'll walk my way there and then I think I might have a look in Acne in Harrods because I just can't resist not looking at Acne. I think Acne Studios is definitely one of my favourite brands right now. I love what they're doing and I think it's really cool as well that you can like, the way they style their clothes on their website, you can take so much inspiration from for styling for your own wardrobe, so I always love to look at that stuff. Also, I haven't done a London shopping vlog in months, so this is quite fun. Hopefully you're enjoying it as well. So we've made it to Acne. They've actually made it bigger and there's a lot more to look at now, which is great. This is my ultimate coach, the Acne Shearling. It's like £2,000. I could never justify that. Or maybe I could, not this year. One day guys, you know I've been asking after this for so long now. I think I have vlogs from last December where I was looking at it. Oh, and then look at it in suede, so amazing. I think this will be like the warmest coat. Oh my God, yeah, they've got it in this like kind of warm charcoal bluey gray. Incredible, absolutely love it. Oh my God, they've got the hats in yellow guys. Oh, I'm in love, this is so cool. Okay, so we've got some hot news guys. This is Mademoiselle and in the new year, 
is it January? Yeah, in January, they're going to be launching a new version of Mademoiselle. It's going to be called Mademoiselle Intense, and it's like an intense twist on a classic, absolute bestseller. So if, yeah, if you love Mademoiselle and you want to try something new, that's pretty exciting. Obviously, we already know about the new number five that launched previously with Le, which I think Le is more like an introduction to number five for maybe a younger person. So if you're a mum and you have like, I don't know, an 18 year old daughter, this would be a great uh, present, I think, especially this time of year. And then hopefully she can buy you the classic number five. I think they're such a nice pairing together as well. So lots of new versions of the classics coming out, which is really exciting. So I've just been introduced some, to some really interesting layering techniques. So if you really love Chanel perfume, but you want something a bit more unique because not everyone's gonna be wearing it, layering um, gardenia and sycamore. I've just smelt it, it is incredible. Like you get the creaminess of sycamore and then the floral, beautiful gardenia really gives it a lift. And then also, if you want to wear Mademoiselle, but you find it's a bit too common, layering that with sycamore is beautiful as well. So you can definitely layer a lot of these perfumes. And if you haven't looked into the exclusive Chanel's yet, I'd really recommend doing that. Um, and coming up here, you just get an amazing experience where you get to kind of see all of the different number five offerings, which is just beautiful. And this is new as well. This is a body oil. And I mean, look at that glitter. For this time of year, even in the summer, that would be amazing. On your legs and your arms looks incredible and so festive so I've just tried out the body oil and it smells like classic number five but then there's orange blossom as well in there which you can really smell look how glittery I am oh my gosh you can really see it on camera it looks like a filter like you know that Instagram like filter the Instagram. There. yeah <laughs> wow that's incredible wow guys what an incredible afternoon I had Michael was just really talking me through number five the history of number five he talked to me about like um, Boy Capel and Chanel and their relationship. It was honestly like a dream fantasy and the thing about Michael is he knows so much information about Chanel but his passion really comes across. A hundred percent if you're going to Harrods or you're in London already you need to book to have a like Chanel perfume masterclass with him because that is something that they offer and it's complimentary as well. I would highly recommend it. Book it in with Michael go up to the sixth floor I realize I've been saying the fifth floor but they're on the sixth floor which is the perfume floor it's incredible and he also told me a couple of exclusives so as I mentioned there's a new Mademoiselle coming out which I think a lot of you are going to be excited about I don't know about you guys but I used to wear Mademoiselle every day when I was like in my early 20s and I just found that because I was smelling it so much on the street it really put me off it wasn't very unique anymore so the fact they're bringing out a new one I think it's pretty exciting and then Michael's also talking me through how to blend different Chanel perfumes together which can definitely make it more unique. He also told me that Chanel are going to have a pop-up on the fifth floor in Harrods. It's going to be like a Chanel experience room where they're going to do tutorials, talk through beauty products and new releases and all different kinds of like events which is amazing. That opens on Monday the 29th of November, I think it's the 29th. Um, so literally on Monday when you guys watch this it will be open and they're gonna do oh, they're gonna do so many different masterclasses and different events I've just booked in to go to one um, which is gonna be all about the power of red so talking through the different red Chanel lipsticks how to pair them up but they've got other ones which talk through like makeup and eyeshadows and how to get the best makeup look for your eye shape and things like that so it's really exciting they have it the space for a year and a half they think um and literally all you have to do is just call up harrods um for the fifth floor chanel to book your own appointment as i said it's complimentary as well or you can just go up to the sixth floor see michael and book it in with him but i'm just so grateful like what an incredible thing to do i first did this masterclass with michael last winter and like last Christmas um, and it was amazing because I think if you love Chanel and you love the history of Chanel talking to someone like Michael like it just wraps you into the brand even more and like gets you excited about it he also did like a hand and arm massage with the body oil which I showed you how glittery my arm was and it just smells divine like you guys know number five is an absolute classic it always reminds us of someone for me it's my mum 
I'm sure for many of you it's even like a grandparent so it's really exciting and yeah check it out that's all the information my battery's flashing at me now this lighting's horrendous but it's dark now so what can you do but because my battery's gonna die I'm gonna end it here I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog subscribe if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon bye guys oh guys my friend who I had breakfast with Bex made me homemade fudge I'm like having to hold my drool in this is delicious oh amazing